Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Pleased to be here as always, and I hope you're doing, feeling all right, wherever you are. You know, I thought about this one a lot. You, you receive word of it, you start researching the item a little bit. And I pondered this for a couple days. I thought back to the last video that I did, which yes, indeed, it was about a totally different item from a totally different chain, Taco Bell, right now we're trying out Wendy's. It didn't send me into a crisis, but it made me think. Maybe I was wrong. I'm only human, I get things wrong sometimes. Perhaps I'll misjudge various things, etc. I thought to myself, could I have gotten it wrong? Because you see, in the last video that I did, I said, that Taco Bell item may very well have been the biggest twist of 2021 by far. This might be it, right here. It's in the name. The writing is on the wall. It's in the advertising campaign. They even call this thing the big bacon cheddar cheeseburger. Maybe this really is the biggest twist of 2021. Maybe, as a matter of fact, this is the biggest release from Wendy's ever. And there's a few indicators that this may be so. Because, number one, you have to look at what the item is. With the item and the quality thereof, one of the most important aspects of any business, really, is the advertising campaign. Viral marketing, letting people know that this product or service exists. And the advertising is what, what really got me going. What you're about to hear, I actually got this in the mail and I, I clipped it out because I, well, you'll see in a minute. Um, this is going to explain everything. Any questions that you have about anything are going to be answered in this short reading. You're going to know everything there is to know about this item, except whether it's good or not, which maybe that's more important than everything else. But I think you're going to understand why this is so big. Your arms are probably going to start uncontrollably flailing around, and uh, that's, to be ex that's, that's to be expected. So give yourself a little bit of room. So, this explains everything, let's just get into it, and uh, we'll go from there. Please forgive me for this. This is straight from the marketing team at Wendy's. Oh, you like cheeseburgers? Okay, look at this thing. The bun is a cheddar bun. That creamy cheesiness spread under the bun is also cheddar. Then we got crispy fried onions and applewood smoked bacon. Wait, what's that deliciously dripping down the American cheese? Bacon jam is what that is. Yeah, we have fun. But when it comes to cheeseburgers, we don't mess around. <sighs> Never doing that again. Yeah, I know. You, you heard it. Doesn't that, um, doesn't that just inspire you to, you have to get this thing now. I know. Yeah, the Big Bacon Cheddar Cheeseburger is what it's called, and as it implies, you can get this in a single, a double, or a triple. It comes with a quarter pound beef patty. Um, again, creamy cheddar cheese, bacon jam, uh, applewood smoked bacon, crispy onion strings, American cheese, and it's on a toasted cheddar bun. It's a big burger, hence the name. Got a little bit of everything, some bacon, some cheese. It's a pricey burger, though it comes at the price of $7 for a single. So we'll have to see if it's really worth it or not. In my case, the double, which I didn't get, I just got the single, is worth, I believe, $8, and the triple is worth nine dollars but you could see what an absolutely compelling advertisement that was and the reading did not do it justice i mean it's more than that i imagine there's uncontrollable flailing in progress right now 
as I open this, I can actually, I can smell the cheddar cheese that's on the bun here, and I likewise can smell the onion. I'm going to, I, I'm going to cut this burger in half. We'll do a cross section. But first, a close up of the sandwich in full. All right, note the bacon, the condiments, the bacon jam. I think this is a little too close to the light, but you can see that cheddar bun right there, and that's a little better, I think. And uh, yeah, it's definitely, it's not as big as the uh, advertisements portray it, but it still is a big burger. I'll give them that. Before I cut it in half, I'll do the thumbnail shots. I'll do one like this. I know I've been doing these sorts of shots lately. Oh, well, I'll get that later. One like that. I'll do one with a neutral face, and then I'll do one a little closer. And then I'll do one just smiling, you know, the usual stuff. These thumbnails are important for the video. And I'll figure it out. Okay, so you see what's on the burger. I see what's on it. We know what it is. I'm going to cut it on, cut it in half real quick because I do want to get an appropriate cross section of it for you. And if the bun comes off, I could simply reconstruct it. That's not a problem. All right, there you go. There's that half of it. Big bun, there's the meat, the toppings, etc. You know what's on it. I know what's on it. We all know what's on it. Is it any good? Let's find out. The big bacon cheddar cheeseburger from Wendy's going in. That's to signify that I'll take two more bites. I'm not just, one of these days I'll just flash like this too, just for no reason that I'll take like four more bites. It's just for the fun of it. And one thing I want to taste real quick, I'll use this onion, well, that's good enough. Use this onion string as a utensil. I want to try this bacon jam directly. Wash it down. I think this is cherry Pepsi. The ever so rare soft drink. Not bad. Not bad. Would I necessarily say this is a $7 burger? No, I wouldn't. <clears throat> but taste-wise, it's not bad. One of my biggest fears in terms of a sandwich like this, and I think you could understand why from experience, a lot of these establishments will sometimes go too over the top uh, with these sorts of burgers and sandwiches, etc., where we got to put this on it. We got to put that on it. We got to put all the sauces, all the toppings. Everything that could possibly go on it goes on it. 
and you have so much stuff on it that it just becomes a sloppy mess, flavors cra a clash, and it's like, why did they need this sauce on it? Why do they need that on it? It would be so much better if it were a little more simplistic. That is not the case here. Everything works. Everything blends together. And while, yeah, you have this impressive laundry list of ingredients, it's not overbearing, it's not overwhelming, there's not too much of this or too little of that, or something that, you know, it just works. That's what I'm trying to say. There's always that pronounced flavor of the beef patty, which is good. All right, it's juicy. Yeah, you know, you kind of look at it, and you might you might look visually at the cross section, and you might say it looks a little dry. Um, but in some instances, looks indeed can be deceiving. This is one of those instances. It is more flavorful than again visually it may necessarily seem at first. Uh, so the beef patty is fine. It's flavorful. It meets and maintains the Wendy's standard, which is what's important. I like the bacon strips. Okay, they're good bacon strips you know, relatively thick cut, um, but they're not these pitiful, you know, little half-cut strips that you sometimes see um, from other establishments. So I like the amount of bacon, I like the quality of the bacon, it's flavorful, um, nice crisp to it, that's good. I'm, I'm fine with that also. The bacon jam is interesting, that's why I wanted to try it a little more. It carries those you know, those flavors of the bacon, but it has a little bit of a sweetness to it as well, which is nice. It's actually a very nice touch um, to this burger. I think it's one of the things that actually ties it all together, if I may say so myself, because it complements the cheese very nicely, it complements the onion strings, and it also works with the beef patty. Everything gets tied together, uh, I think, by that, by that bacon jam. Now, in terms of the cheese, let's go to that next. Uh, if, if there's one thing that I would say, I don't know if this necessarily needs the American cheese. It's there, you can kind of notice it a little bit, um, but the most prevailing flavor is definitely that cheddar cheese. Uh, not only from the cheddar cheese, the creamy cheddar cheese that's on it to begin with, but likewise uh, the toasted cheddar on the bun, which you could definitely smell, and you could also taste um, in terms of that. So the cheddar cheese, in terms of cheese, cheesiness, is the prevailing flavor on this burger. I don't... If, this is what I'm just trying to say. It's not overwhelming, it's not overbearing. I just don't really know if it actually needs that, uh, that American cheese on it. Because while I notice it, it's not like it's... I don't think it would really make any difference in the end if it were there or if it weren't. So that's the one thing. That's not really a complaint, though. It's not like it's any worse with or without it. That's just one thing. It's like, I don't know if that really needs to be there, but it's still fine either way. And uh, the onion strings, again, are nice. It's a nice balance. They add a little bit of, of flavor, but they're not over the top either. And I also kind of add, again, a nice little crispy crunch to the, uh, the burger as well. Uh, one thing that some people may be wondering in terms of the bun, and this is just interesting, um, as you may, for instance, be looking at this cross section, you'll see all the bun right here. You'll be saying, I don't know, it looks kind of bready, you know, it's like, I don't know, it looks like the bun to, you know, toppings ratio is a little off, and maybe there's just too much bun. Uh, is that the case? Not really. Uh, interestingly enough, it actually condenses pretty well when you actually take that bite. Again, looks may be deceiving, but it's not like the whole thing is bread, and, you know, the bread soaks up everything like a sponge or something, and it ruins it. Uh, not at all. So the looks, I think, in that case are deceiving, but I think the bun to topping ratio in the end is actually fine, because again, when you bite in, it all condenses, and um, I think the bun is a bit airy. It gives the impression that it's bigger than it really is, so take note of that. Uh, it's, it's, it's all right in the end. I'm fine with it. All the flavors work. They complement each other nicely. It all comes together, and uh, despite all the toppings, it doesn't seem like a sloppy mess either. Everything works. That's good. Uh, in terms of price, though, you know, I still wouldn't say this is a $7 sandwich. Um, I guess in the end, you know, in terms of the economy, it is what it is, but I think it is a little, a little overpriced. So, keeping that in mind, though, I still think it's good. I'm still happy with it. Uh, definitely not the best sandwich in the world. You know, not the worst, either. Um, but I think this is something that would get, uh, I would probably give it a 7.8 out of 10. Uh, because, again... 
it's not perfect. Yeah, it's a Wendy's, it's fast food, not the best burger I've ever had, but definitely a little bit above average there. I'm happy with it, and uh, any complaints that I have are relatively minor. So with that, that's all that I really have for you today. Tried out the big bacon cheddar cheeseburger from Wendy's, and uh, well, again, that's all that I have. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thank you for tuning in to today's review. Until next time.